Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your week one lecture video. So I'd like to take a minute to talk about the weekly lecture videos. Generally, they serve as guideposts. Um, I, they do get a little bit more technical as we move through the eight-week summer semester about how to go, how to perform certain conventions and strategies when it comes to writing and researching. So that being said, uh, they're not going to be long, 20-minute type PowerPoint presentations all about content. Uh, my expectations are is that you will read through the textbook, obtain that content or any handouts or examples or Blackboard content that's there, and I provide some key ideas and strategies about how to pull all that information together. So I just want to be sure that everybody understands what's coming in a lecture video. This week, since we're working in the introduction uh, of the Curious Researcher, what I'd like to do is just point out discussion board number two. Uh, it's exercise two on page 12, uh, taking a look at that activity. Uh, the purpose behind the introduction is for you to challenge or even rethink your expectations, your thoughts on the research paper. Everybody comes in with some predetermined idea of what they have to write, and there is some comfort in that. As I say always in, um, in 1102 classes, uh, you know, you've been trained to write the research paper. My challenge to you this semester is for you to rethink how you go about the research essay or the research paper. I use those two terms uh, synonymously. What I'm not looking for is a research report where you simply regurgitate your research. I am looking for some innovation, some thinking. In other words, I want to know your opinion. So if I jump over to the researcher here uh, for a minute, uh, in the introduction, Ballinger does talk about the types of evidence that we use to support our research or support our research uh, papers. Um, it comes from memory and experience, um, observations, those real life experiences and observations that you have made throughout regarding your to topic, depending on what your topic is, is, certainly can be used as information and evidence. Reading, we all know because we pour through all the source material. Uh, that we can find, whether it's in databases, internet sources, even video that we watch, um, which you could technically um, put in the observation category there, and then interview, talking to people. I mean, there are many experts of, in some areas that, uh, depending on your topic, that you can interview and gain some um, information from to support your particular research paper. Interesting sections here in the introduction that you could benefit from is thinking like an academic writer and researcher. We're approaching this from the position of establishing questions and then looking for answers, not the other way around. Whether you argue or come up with a thesis or you want to present information and discuss a topic this semester, I don't really care. All I'm looking for is for you to find some interesting information, develop a topic, integrate the research, and meet the criteria of the uh, course. Uh, we'll have a conversation at one point about opinions. Uh, I think this is really an important section to take a look at and then opinions. And remember, um, facts are always important, and we might have to have a discussion about what is fact, and sources will come along when we do our research. So here is exercise two. What my expectations are is you read uh, that particular um, article, uh, part of the, the essay that Ballinger had written, um, and, and really discuss it in this particular post. There's been a couple of posts already that have had some interesting insight into their thinking about Ballinger's um, article. Remember to engage in your, in your responses here. I'm going to get a good conversation happening in discussion board two. Uh, if you do not have the textbook, uh, do not uh, worry about it. There is a bad PDF, but a PDF of uh, Theories of Intelligent, that article posted in the course unit, as I say here. All right. If you have any questions or issues, please send me an email. Good luck this week.